two massive games today against Solihull and Wrexham, but more importantly, we have our youth intake, our first one of the series, and it says it's excellent. It says it's going to be a real golden generation. Um, we've had all those before, haven't we? There's a lot of five-star potential, a lot of four-star potential, some threes as well. Don't know how good that's going to be. I've not looked at this yet, so uh, so let's have a look. We'll definitely have a look at the elite talents. Oh, okay, so Sam McLean, Scottish goalkeeper. Um, doesn't look bad, six foot one. Looks okay for a uh, for a youth intake keeper. Uh, Adele Selimovic, left back. Yeah, he's not amazing, but could could progress, I guess. Um, the strikers are always the exciting ones, aren't they? You always want a good striker, and this one looks good. Zach McLaughlin, he looks good. He's quick already. He's determined. He's finishing his fifteen already at sixteen years of age. He really could be something. He really could be something. Uh, James Savage is a centre-back, um, 15 tackling, 17 bravery, 13... I'm excited about him, and he's 6 foot 3. I'm excited about him. He looks like he could he could have a uh, have a future with us. Uh, Stephen Kenny, a, isn't that the uh, Irish manager's name? Uh, he's a 16 years of age, finishing a 14. Natural fitness of 16, so the, I mean, strength is abysmal. Um, but surely with some natural fitness, that would go up. Not as excited about him as I am about uh, young Zach. Uh, Geslin Kudimbana is a midfielder. Um, yeah, okay. I can see some decent, some decent bits in there. In terms of top talents, uh, we don't have a striker in here. We do have another centre mid in Francisco Pereira. Now, he looks good. Why are you not in the elite talents bit, mate? You look better than the ones in the top category. You look decent. Excited about you. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a right winger in Barney Barkley. Oh, please be good. Because I love that name. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, uh, any other good names? Mason Longrig. Or Maison. He's called House. House Longrig. Natural fitness of 18. Love that. Leadership of 15 already as well. Really liking that. Could be a useful right back for a six foot five. Wow, he is huge. Uh, we won't bother having a look at all the rest. I'm going to be watching. I love the. Uh, I always watch the, the the game between the youth intake and the um, and the under 18s or whoever it is they play. Um, let's just have a quick look at the matches today. So we have got. It's, it's time that we all won. Uh, Yeovil drop points. They drew at Halifax at the last time out. Uh, we sorry, we won at we won at Dagenham with a Michael Felivi goal. He scored. Had to make loads of changes, but he finally scored his first goal, uh, which kept us five points clear of Wrexham and Solihull, who both won in the end. Solihull, sorry, we are eight points clear of. So we could virtually put them out of the title race if we beat them today. Wrexham are at home to York, who are currently seventh. So that's not an easy game, and Wrexham haven't exactly been in blistering form themselves um, the issue we've got is international duty uh, we have got Hallam Hope and Junior Luamba both out on international duty so is uh, Zane Francis Angle so is Lois Maynard not as devastating those two they should both be back for the Wrexham game assuming they don't get injured so at the minute it's Stobbs who all right pretty much been a first choice all season anyway Ben Tolley out on the left uh, he scored a superb goal at Dagenham, um, but he was offside, uh, which was a shame. It was a brilliant goal. Harrison McGay is upset about being left out, but didn't, oh, I think we might have promised him some football, actually, so that might come back and bite me. Uh, is he on the bench? No, he's not. Oops. Oh, well. Um, pump fist. We should be winning this. Wow. Wow, that had a massive impact. Needing the performance from Charlie Caton today. Uh, Felivi played the full 90 down at Dagenham. Um, but because he scored, he's now on the bench. And Sebruni has gone down into the under-21s for now. And he did score a couple for them as well, actually. They lost 6-3 in a game. But he did score twice, which was good. Let's have the latest scores up. That's what matter at the moment. And it's all about... Oh, they've lost one of their best players. Elliot Lee has gone off injured. For Wrexham. Yeovil a nil-nil. Okay. I mean, 
McManaman's missed a penalty for York. I'm watching that game more than ours because nothing is happening in this game. Right, we've got a highlight. Long throw, headed clear. It's Solihull looking to break. Get out to him. Come on, he's running far too much there. They've done well. Pulley did a cross, but it's Freya Magnus Norman. Awful game so far. We've got two bookings. Come on, boys. This is awful. Let's have a quick look. So we're still five points clear. Wrexham are still nil-nil. Notts County move up above Solihull as things go. Because they are leading through a Langstaff penalty. But I will be berating these players. Disappointing to watch. Charlie, why are you nervous, mate? Come on. Let's get out of there. Let's finish them now. Come on. Let's do them in this half. Let's not worry about what else is going on. Let's see what they're, what they're doing. So they're doing... A lot of teams are doing this formation against us now. A Bromley score at Yeovil. That's a bit of a surprise. I'm going to berate them because this is awful. Alex Denny and Liam Hogan are both going to have to come off. Jordan Clark's not looking too good either. Good thing is at the moment we've got a whole week before the next game. So it should. I mean, Hallam Hope and Junior Luambo will be back in the squad as Caton's in. Caton's in. And he scored. Charlie Caton. No, it's offside. Surely not. Oh, he was. Oh, that is that is unlucky. Wrexham has scored. Oh, no. This is going to make this next game huge, isn't it? If we don't find a winner. Don't have anyone I can bring on for Jordan Clark. Okay. So it's either Caton off. It's down to a 6.1 again. Oh, my God. Let's demand more. Come on. Not going well. I've only made two changes. Does it really matter now? He's got us. I, he, he, I tell you what, Kate, and he pisses me off as much as he pleases me. He really does. A 6.0. I mean, look at those stats. What a god-awful match. How? I don't understand how we don't have any shots on goal in a game when I'm set out to attack. It's, I just don't get it. I do not get it. I am going to say it was absolutely shameful. I mean, a 6.1 for Ben Tollett. You'll never play for me again. I'll play a youth player out there now. You will never play for me again. And Charlie Caton... I'm... <laughs> I'm just disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. Uh, it's a point, though. That's the big thing, isn't it? It's a point. And ahead of the trip to Wrexham, I mean, they would have to beat us at least four to go above us on goal difference. Oh, it's going to be a, such a big match. Such a big match. Let's make sure we didn't pick up any injuries before we head off to North Wales. Right. Biggest game of the season coming up. Oh, I am ridiculously nervous about this one. I mean, we've been top. I looked. I've just been checking before I started. We have been top since the 29th of October when we won at the Shea against Halifax Town. And we could lose top spot here now. It's, it is going to take an eight-goal swing. They, uh, Wrexham, would have to score. Uh, let's, have a, let's have a quick look. Just, I mean, you never know, do you? It could happen. They would have to beat us by five, I think. Uh, otherwise, I think we would stay above them on goals scored. So it, it, we're going to have to get absolutely battered to lose top spot. But we, if we lose the game, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble, aren't we? We could end up in the playoffs. Um, I think what I'm going to do after this game, um, in terms of going forward for the final episodes of the season, hopefully the final episodes, and we don't end up in the playoffs, um, I would do the only game off camera, and then that leaves us with four left, including a trip to Yeovil, who are third, which is going to be horrible. Um, hopefully it's not going to be pivotal. Um, one thing I have done, we had the youth intake as 
that we uh, that we saw. One thing I have done, we got the news item about clubs releasing players, and you can see them all here in green. I've taken quite a lot of them on trial. Um, and there's a few of them that I quite like the look of. I'm not sure if they would be immediately in the first team. Uh, Junior Dixon, though, from Crystal Palace looks okay. He's, the stats that I want to be good look decent for a striker in terms of natural fitness, his strength, his balance. Uh, aggression's good. Finishing looks really good. Determination doesn't look amazing. That's the only problem. And his work rate is woeful. So I'm not really sure on him. Um, there's a few that look half decent, though. Tino Quamina, again, looks really decent for a left back uh, I'm not going to show you all of them because that would take forever and we've already looked at our youth intake what I will do is I'll just highlight a couple of them here you can always pause it if you want if you are in the first season or if you if you're in um, you know if you're a few years in maybe I don't know have a look at them see where they ended up see if they ended up any good or not um, I don't know if I'll sign any of them at the minute I can't even give Hallam Hope a new contract I can't even get myself a new contract uh, which makes me think, on the first go-around, I mean, obviously we got sacked because of the new signings not playing well, but we weren't anywhere near the playoffs, and we so we weren't going to get promoted. And I don't think I would have got a new contract because the financial situation was dire. The financial situation was much better on this, ver on this save, and yet I still can't get a contract. So I have no idea what is going to happen. I really don't. Uh, in terms of the team going forward, so we've got Junior Luamba back, but he's not quite fit enough to start, so he's on the bench. Uh, Hallam Hope comes straight into the team on the left-hand side. Uh, he scored, actually, while he was away on international duty uh, with Barbados. Uh, his well, his first goal of the season internationally, his fifth goal in 12 in all competitions. Again, like I say, can't give him a new contract at the minute. Not even sure I would. I'm not sure he's good enough for League Two, but he'd be a body, I suppose, and I, I probably would give him a contract because he's never let me down. Um, but that is the team we're going with. All looking pretty decent in terms of uh, the team sheet. Everyone seems quite happy with that. We're sticking with the attacking mentality. It's really interesting. This, this tactic, working well with Oldham, but I've tried it with Argentina on my other save, and we've lost to Germany, to Iran, and to Ghana in the friendly since winning the World Cup. So it doesn't work for everybody, clearly. Um, oh, I don't know what to say. Right, we can, we can secure a playoff place, which we will do, obviously. I mean, even if we lost every game, we would still get in the playoffs. That's not even an issue, really, when you think about it. I'm just not... Com I'm just not... I'm not convinced we're going to get the result here. A draw, I would take all day long. But here we go. Let's see what we can do. We're top of the league, aren't we, at the end of the day? This is nice passing. Vaughan out to Stobbs. Switches it looking for Hope. Oh, Ford's missed his header, but made up with the tackle. Yeovil are a goal down. Harry Vaughan has hit the bar. Oh, that's unlucky. And they're coming forward, but that's the end of the highlight. Yeovil, nil, Southend, one. That's going to pretty much condemn them to a playoff place, I think. Solly Hull have scored. I mean, Yeovil could yet drop out of the playoffs, to be fair. It's quite tight with the chasing pack. You've only got three points separating four, four teams there. Let's drop another encourage. Oh no, we've got a highlight. Oh no, 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 no. It's a corner for them and it's headed over. Right, let's encourage. I really want to try and go balanced or something like that, but I haven't done it all season. I, I'm not going to be able to go with this. Certainly not with the attacking mentality, I don't think, if we do go up to League 2. I've just been looking at players that are out of contract as well at the end of the season. Now, the good thing is, in England, of course, you can't you can't agree to sign them yet. I think it's in the last 30 days of their contract, isn't it, that you can do it? So, at least I'm going to know what division I'm going to be in. Well, if I'm not in League 2, I'm probably not getting a new contract, am I? So, so yeah, that's, that's going to be an issue. It's the whole series that's resting on this, 
on us winning the title or the playoffs. Yeovil have equalised to their top scorer, Malachi Linton. They've scored, I think that's their 84th league goal of the season. Now, bear in mind, we're top. I think we're on 70, 71, something like that. So they have massively outscored us. In fact, we're only the fourth highest scorers in the division. Right, Felidi can come on for Caton because Caton's had another shocker. Junior Luamba can come on because they've both got 6.4. And we have a highlight. I really want to hope it's Junior Luamba setting up Michael Felidi for a goal because I've just brought them on. Oh, what a hit that was from Ford. That was incredible and he's hit the bar. Unlucky. Right, 20 minutes to go. I am not unhappy with this at the minute. Who else have we got that we could bring on? I'm not... I mean, I'm thinking maybe put Nico Gordon out because I don't like Jordan Clark being nervous. So I'm going to bring on Liam Hogan for the final 20. The last thing I need is Jordan Clark being nervous and making a mistake. The change hasn't gone through yet. There, there is Clark. Nice ball to Stobbs. Takes it back off him. Hits it long. Okay, Luamba. Philippe is in. I think he's on side. No, he, he, he was on. I mean, it was a hell of a finish. Yeovil have scored. Yeovil are 2-1 up. Keeping their title hopes alive. Free kick hit out to the left. Jackson. Oh, my God. He got a good contact on that, but it was straight down Norman's throat. And the highlight carries on. Luamba. Oh, Felivi had made the run. Crawl clips it over the top. Looking for Felivi. I think he... Did he win the header? I'm not sure. Stobbs. Gordon. Stobbs into the box. Felivi! We lead. We lead at Wrexham. Six points clear as it stands. Oh, now what do I do? We've been attacking all season. Do I try and shut it down? Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let's praise them. We are in this game. We deserve to at least be level. Cause for, oh, whoa, their shots have just rocketed up there. They are coming for us. Apparently none of the, uh, their shots are worthy of a highlight. Let's just as, oh, I'm, let's just play out the. I was going to have a look at the live league table. Come on, boys! Come on, this is massive. What a win! What a win! What a result that is! Michael Felipe off the bench gets us the winner. Does he get himself into the starting lineup now? Um, that was an excellent win. And I'm going to have a chat with Michael because that, proud of the winning goal, mate. That now puts us, I don't know if, I'm not sure if anyone could have got above Wrexham. No, Yeovil, look at that, up into third. Notts County, what did they do? They won 2-0 at Altrincham, our next opponents. Oh, we are virtually there. We are virtually there. The semi-final first legs of the uh, trophy have happened. All the shot on Eastley with wins. No injuries. We have secured a playoff spot. That's nice. Oh, my word. Charlie Caton is really not in form at the minute. And I am really tempted to give Michael Felivia a start in the next game. We have Altrincham coming up. So I'm going to do that one off camera because then, like I say, it leaves us with four games. No prize money listed. I don't know if there is prize money for finishing top or whatever. I don't know. Oh, we are so, so close. Five games to go. Altrincham will be off camera. We'll come back and do uh, Scunthorpe and Maidenhead. We could potentially, in those two games, we could secure promotion, I guess, depending on what happens elsewhere. Uh, so come back and join me for the next episode. We are within touching distance. We have one finger on promotion. Not quite a hand yet. One finger certainly on that play on that National League trophy now. 
Ah, oh, this would be amazing. We have to do it to get me a new contract. Simple as that. Uh, as always, smash a like on this one for me. Hit subscribe. Turn on the notifications. And I will see you for what will hopefully be a promotion party. If not in the next episode, then in the one after that. But thank you for watching. Bye-bye.